Hello friends, my name is Theo and today in this exciting Vista Media tutorial I'll be talking about a couple tips to edit faster in DaVinci Resolve. Now, I've been working on making a comprehensive DaVinci Resolve training course and I just got done with the section about editing so I thought I'd give you guys the tips that I found most valuable because you know, why not? So here is just a couple ways to edit super fast. So first we've got this trim edit mode tool that some of you may already know about so if you select this and click you've got rolling edits if you put your cursor in the middle of the clip, if you get just do one edit point, it just does a ripple edit. And if you put the cursor in the middle of the clip, it does a slip edit. And if you put it down here, it does a sliding edit. So you all might have been familiar with this, but there's actually a lot more trimming tools inside the edit page. So we can go back to our normal selector. So we'll work on either one. And here, if we hit V, we can go to the closest edit point, And then we can move around these with our arrow key. So up arrow goes back, down arrow goes to the next one. And you can see if we zoom way in there, we just have the front edit point selected. And so now let's say we want to view this point. We can just hit the forward slash button and it'll play around that edit just like that. And now let's say we want to nudge this edit around some, we can hit either period to nudge this forward, comma to nudge it backward. And let's say in this case, we probably want to do a rolling edit. So right now, once again, you can see that just our start edit is selected, but we can use U to toggle and I see the out point of our previous clip is selected. Hit U one more time and now they're both selected. And if we use comma, we can roll this edit around with just our keyboard. So you can see just how fast this would be. Say, I want that there. Next edit point, there. To just do this one, maybe want to do it like that. Or another good way to do this is to play forward and say, yep, that's where I want to come in for some reason. And I can hit Control Shift Open Bracket. Just go ahead and pop this clip back some. So we play through more and say, no, actually I want to start there, control shift, open bracket, play through, go back, U, U, period. Say so we want to move this more than that at a time. I can hit shift period. This does five frames at a time. And so you can see with just those couple of editing commands, you can get a whole lot done. So I hope this was a nice quick little tip to help you out with some of my favorite keyboard shortcuts in the edit page. If you want to know even more details about this, once again, I've been putting together this course, putting a lot of work into it. So if you're interested in like a more comprehensive look at DaVinci Resolve that doesn't have to deal with YouTube shenanigans, go ahead and sign up to be informed more about that. Also, if you're there, check out product page. Even if you're not interested in buying anything, check it out and let me know if there's any problems because this is my first time doing actual web development stuff with like JavaScript and HTML and CSS and all that jazz. So highly likely that something will break and I appreciate anyone who tells me what does. Anyway, once again, I've been Theo with Mishnah Media. Have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye.